Welcome to John Gets Games. Today, my friend Anastasia is going to join us here in the studio, and we're going to play a full two-player game of Walnut Grove. We'll start things off with a brief overview, then we will play the full game, teaching it as we go, and we'll finish with a discussion about how the game went. Now, I do want to ask that if you enjoy this video, then please click the like button for it down below, as well as the subscribe button for the channel. In addition to that, if you'd like to directly support this channel and the creation of videos like this one in the future, then please go to patreon.com slash John Gets Games. This video is not sponsored, uh, and the Patreon support that I get helps me be able to make videos just like this one. You also get access to a ton of exclusive perks like my uh, podcast feed where you hear audio versions of all of my vlogs and also my opinions episodes where I talk about every game that I play, the things I like and don't like about them. And of course, they also get access to some of my videos early and advertisement free. I say of course because this is one of those videos that was sent out early to them so they could watch it without those ads. Now, coming back to this game, I do want to ask that if while you're watching this, you see us cheat or do a bad turn or you have better ideas or any of that kind of stuff, please leave a comment down below. We love to see that kind of feedback. All right, let's jump into the game. Hi, John. Hey, Anastasia. Welcome to, welcome to Walnut Grove. It literally says that here on the box. <laughs> welcome to this game that you own. I do own this game. <laughs> so you've had this for a while. We played it for the first time like three years ago online. I've never played it in real life, and we've been talking about doing this forever, so I'm really glad we're finally playing I this I am so together. excited. This is definitely one of those games that was on my shelf for a long time that I was like, why do I still own this? And I didn't realize that it's actually, I'm going to call it it, I think this is a hidden gem. Okay. I think. Well, so the, the, uh, we're going to do a quick overview, but I did yeah. want to quickly say that the designer of this game, Tuco Takakalio, this game came out in 2011. Uh, they also had another game called Eclipse that you might have heard out that, that heard of that came out in 2011. I think it's kind of hilarious that Eclipse, which is this galactic 4x galaxy spanning pew pew roll dice game, came out the same year as this, which is like a super mean, uh, super hard farming game. <laughs> <laughs> He's so, calling it, but lovely and it, wonderful, and yeah. But, uh, from my recollection of playing this one once, it's one of those like. Five steps forward, four steps back kind of games. <laughs> <laughs> like you make tiny little increments. Anyway, let's talk about the game um, as a quick overview. It's a very realistic farming sim simulation, yes. <laughs> John. Uh, so I'm just going to flip over the top one. Uh, the game is going to be eight rounds long. We're going to go through these eight tiles. There's A's and then B's. The first thing we do at the beginning of the round is we flip over the A, and we're going to go through four seasons. So we're essentially going to go through eight years, I guess. Uh, we have spring, summer, fall, and winter. And essentially, in spring, we are going to be each randomly pulling tiles out of this bag right here. We're going to be selecting a certain number of them. We're going to be placing them onto our board area, kind of growing out our own personal tile laying spot. Then in summer, we are going to use our farmers and workers and whatnot to generate stuff in these areas, which is going to be cubes. And then in the fall, we are going to move our, I don't know, shoppers, townspeople, clockwise around this rondelle. Uh, we go as far as we want, but there are some penalties we have to pay for as we do this. And then wherever we stop, it has to be empty and we get to do the thing where it is. So it's kind of like a rondelle worker placement thing. Yep. After we both just move once and do one thing, we have winter where we have to feed our people. And it can be very penalizing because for every person you don't feed, you gain negative point tokens that you could potentially get rid of. Uh, also, people get cold, so you have to, like, light the campfires next to them. There's, there's a John, whole... John, 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 theme. You gain neighborly help tokens. Neighborly help. Oh, sorry. Neighborly help. <laughs> <laughs> your neighbors help feed your people, but they judge you. They judge they ju you. <laughs> <laughs> and, to make uh, you pay them back with interest. <laughs> yeah, and then we, you know, draw another one. We do this eight times, and then we're going to get points for a few things. Uh, we'll get a couple points for the workers we have. We'll get points for stuff in our storage, for things we do to our town for complete offenses. We'll talk about all that as we go, and then whoever has the most points wins. That's it. I don't yeah. actually remember what a winning score was last time we played, but I do remember feeling like, wow, it is hard to make points in this game. It is uh, It is low. It is a yes. low-scoring game. I mean, this is a very... It's tight. It's fun. It's fast. Uh, you know, and it, but it, it it's... And there is a little bit of luck. There is a little bit of luck. So, yeah, let's talk about that real quick. Yeah, we have this uh, bag of coins. And for anybody who's played Eclipse, they'll be like, wait a second. This kind of reminds me of Eclipse. This is the only part that does. Um, when you get coins, you randomly pull them out of this bag. They're worth zero, one, or two victory points, uh, which sounds like a big swing when we say that victory points are hard to come by, but you're constantly spending these. Yeah. So if you get a zero point coin, you can spend it and it pays just as well as a two point coin. And you're like, I don't care. It's a, two, a zero point coin. I'll get rid of it. But if it's a two point coin, you don't want to spend it, which is really going to restrict things. You'll see how it works later on. 
I think let's play this game. Let's do it. So let's take a look at our, our little board real quick. So we have these, at the beginning of the game, we only have these four storage slots. We're both going to start with two zero coins. We know that, but this is the last time we're going to know anything about each other's coins. Um, they are hidden, but it's cool. You, you, you're kind of limited in your storage. You can build more, but you can find ways to get rid of these or use them. Yeah. Uh, we also both start with a farmer. This farmer represents us and doesn't need to eat and doesn't need to be kept warm. But we do hire. We are robots. We, we, are... Do... <laughs> we do not need No, we food. have plenty of food. We do food not need heat. We are plenty. We're all good. The yeah. farmer's good. But we do have laborers. And um, as John mentioned, you know, we're going to play over the seasons. and we uh, get more laborers. Yeah. Yeah. And in winter, we're going to need to feed our laborers. A little asymmetric here. We have different colors. In fact, John, you need to swap yours. Oh, oops, Daisy. <laughs> um, yeah, and the color of the laborer is uh, the type of food that they are going to want to eat. Yes. So, um, which is kind of funny to me. Like, these are called fishermen, but really they're pescatarians. Like, this person yeah. <laughs> could go mining for rock, but they want to eat fish. Yes, so. absolutely. <laughs> um, all right, John, so let's get started. Okay, so it's simultaneous in this first round. So yeah. right now we're going to be in summer. And what the game is telling us is we're going to get to each draw three tiles. Randomly out of the big bag. Randomly out of the big bag. And then we simultaneously each choose one and place it, right? Exactly. So these are my options. I'm not sure that it really ma They're going to go back in the bag so that it doesn't necessarily need to be, like, hidden. And also, you're kind of doing this at the same time. So you're kind of focused on your own thing. Yeah. Well, let's see what you do first, and then we'll we'll just do mine. Like, yeah. In person, you do this synchronously. but Exactly. One of the interesting things about placing your tiles is that, unlike most games, you can place them however you want. I, I could do this. I could do this. Fences don't need to line up. Uh, areas don't need to line up. But you really want them to because when we get to the fall, you're going to produce goods. And the way that you're going to do that, you know, you're going to put your farmer or labor on and you're going to produce goods based on the number of tiles, you know, that of the same area type. So, like, ultimately building to this, then I would make three, three sheep. sheep. And so that would be great. So you kind of want to head in that direction. The other thing is at the end of the game, every enclosed fenced-in area it's worth one point. So, you know, you do kind of want to aim for that as well. So just a couple of things to consider as you're yeah. picking out tiles. Yeah. I, I think I know what I'm going to do. All right, you go, John. Yeah, so I have these three tiles here. And uh, I do want to point out, we both started with one wood. That is intentional. Uh, I'm going to place this tile there. Okay, I said that I think thought I knew what I was going to do, but now I'm instantly wondering if... <laughs> so if I do this, I'm really helping work on my fence. But if I do this, it leaves that open-ended. Yeah, okay. Who needs points? Points are boring. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to place this here. These will go back into the bag. And uh, now what do you do? Well, what's interesting about what John did is he actually grew his water area. And yes. we can kind of look ahead here. This is what kind of makes this game really interesting in the round is that in the spring, we draw our tiles. And in the summer, we're going to produce. And this is basically telling us one type of good is going to produce more. So what John has just done is made this huge water area where he's naturally going to produce two water very likely to and, and this will make like i said one. produce two water two fish, <laughs> two fish. can't eat water he's yes. going to produce two fish this is why i did it like like yeah. because uh fish are going to produce better i expanded my fish area to make a lot of fish also i have a pescatarian who wants to eat fish so it makes sense yeah it's great but i did not draw a single one of those tiles so i'm not as well set up yeah. for that situation as john you is. still could because you could place on the little water nub on your board but i could that feels bad i think what i'm going to do is i'm tempted to do this just to make more wood but i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to do i think i'm going to do this because ooh, wait no this is the same version but with more fences i'm going to do this because this guy needs to eat grain yeah i think i'm naturally going to want to produce that so all right so i'm gonna do that all right so now we're done with spring and we can go to summer and this is also simultaneous and technically realistically Usually, you do spring and immediately do summer, and we all kind of wait for everybody to be done for, with summer to do fall. Um, so, yeah, after placing a tile, we then are going to generate stuff with our workers. Uh, we do this simultaneously. I am very obviously going to be activating this blue area. Uh, and, again, like Anastasia said, I don't need to put a blue person over here. This blue person just wants to eat fish. But our farmer and our blue person are functionally the same for producing over there. Uh, I may as well put the, the fish person over there. They like fish. And when you produce in an area, just like Anastasia said, every tile in that contiguous area that was activated is going to generate one of that kind of goods. So there are two tiles. That means I get two fish cubes from the supply. And then this round, if you make fish, you make one more. So I get three fish cubes. Now these get stored 
in that area, and I could use these at any point in time. Uh, I guess we've grown the fish, and we just go down to the stream and pick them up. <laughs> um, but if we didn't have enough room, you go down to, to the fit, stream and fish for them. Fish them up, just grab them out of the water. <laughs> if we didn't have enough room, uh, like Anastasia said, you can store them in your uh, barn. But at the beginning of the game, you only have this much, and once they're in the barn, you can't put them back. So. That's something you don't want to do unless you have to. Uh, and that was one of my people. Uh, now, my farmer also gets to make stuff. I can't put them into the water because only one person can work in an area at the same time. So that means I could go here or here for one grain, there or there for a wood, or one stone or one uh, sheep. So realistically, I'm getting one of something else. And I think I'm going to make stone. So that's a size one area. I'll make one stone. There's a spot for the stone. And I am done summering. I love that for you. <laughs> what are you doing? Okay, so I'm going to go here because this guy, like John said, it could, I could put either one here, but I'm just, you know, going to be matchy-matchy. So some grain. My farmer's going to make some grain. Actually, my laborer is going to make some grain. So I'm going to put these You're one, vegetarian. Two. I'm vegetarian. <laughs> it does not say that in the rule book. I just no, think it's funny. Are. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, I'm going to actually put... John literally just said, don't do this, but but I don't want to lose out on the bonus here. So I'm going to go ahead and put this here. No, I think this makes a lot of sense. I mean, I, I said it, here. it felt bad because I kind of forgot that we have two people. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, you, so, yeah, no, you, you totally should do that. Yeah, so, but it has to go into your, your barn. But still, exactly. I, I think that makes a lot of sense. So I have not played this in like two and a half years. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So now we're going to move on to fall. Yes. So in the fall, we're going, that is the first part of the game that isn't kind of done simultaneously. That is, we're going to use this kind of Rondell worker placement board. So now one of the things we didn't point out is that at the start of the game, you can actually choose where you want to start. Um, and we each chose to kind of start on different sides of the board, but we could have, uh, chosen to do this yeah. or but both of us over here now the person that is furthest away from the town hall in clockwise order is always going to go first so regardless of how things work out so that's me then right uh, it's essentially clockwise from the post office yeah this is town hall right here and yeah. so yeah john's right so actually john will go first um one of the interesting things in this game is you can move as much as you want there's only two things that are kind of limiting you every time you cross one of these spaces, you have to pay a coin. So any coin, any coin, you yes. have to pay. So this is why the zeros are not bad. Because exactly, <laughs> they help you get around the track. So you you're sort of limited in that. And no, interestingly, you know, you're only gonna this game is only eight rounds, so you're really only gonna take eight actions in this game. So that's another thing to kind of consider. Yeah. And the other piece of it is that um, you just can't, like any worker placement game, you can't stop on the same space as someone else except for in these two spots. Yeah. Now, before we move on, this is editing John, interrupting your video to briefly explain two setup mistakes that we made. We're going to catch both of these later on, but I want you to know them right at the outset. The first of these is that there were supposed to be two random laborers placed on the hotel over on the right. Um, we'll fill that in much later than I would have preferred. And the other thing is the supply for constructing houses and barns. We put two barns and two houses. Each of these locations should actually have one of each type as opposed to just one type. Again, sorry we messed that up. We'll figure it out later though. So So I go first. You go first. And the arrow means I kind of I kind of enter here so I could go to the post office. That would let me take two cubes of my choice and put them into my barn. Uh, I think considering I currently have one wood, one stone, and three fish. I'm going to go here to the carpenter. Mm. Um, so that says I need to pay a fish and a stone. And this is the reason I went here and put the stone down. You definitely have to look at that rondel. Yeah. Um, I will pay a fish and a stone. And that lets me construct a house, essentially. Yeah. Uh, that will go here. It replaces this little caravan. And what that means is later on in winter, this person gets to sleep in a cozy house as opposed to outside where they have to light a fire. And it also, I think every one of these is worth two points, right? I, um, every, it also means that every one of those is worth one point at the ah, end of the game. One point. Okay, yeah. So, But still, points are good to have. So I've done that. Um, there's only two of these in the entire game. I believe there's more with higher player count. Yes. And my higher player count, actually, the number of tiles that comes out, including the number of people, is all player count dependent. So solo, uh, two, 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 yeah. Yeah. And uh, more for three, more for four. Yeah. So I've done that. Um, that means, yeah, I'm feeling good about that. I'm done. And now you get to go. Yes. And so this is great. Uh, John looked at the board, really thought about it. I just wanted to produce as many goods as possible and didn't pay any <laughs> attention to it at all. You made that fish. So I was like, oh, maybe you're going to try to yeah. hire this laborer 
but that costs sheep. And exactly. You, that's the one I thing don't you have don't it. have. And based on where I am, it's I mean, it'd be great to be over here and all that. I don't particularly want to pay a coin, um, although I could. Um, so, you know, we can talk real quick about these spots. I mean, it's pretty simple. John went, you know, there's two spots to buy things. John bought the one to buy um, houses. houses. And this is, sorry, I shouldn't say that. There are these two spots that kind of allow improvements to your farm. He bought the one to buy a house. The other one, like, increases your storage. So yeah. And also worth one fun. point each, right? Yep, yeah. worth one point each. The other thing is that there's some end game scoring conditions. Um, you know, one of these actually increases that one point to two points. So there's uh-huh. a couple of those so that you expensive. could take. They are expensive. Yeah. And we can also hire more laborers. But of course, more laborers means feeding the laborers. Interestingly, if I were to go hire a laborer, I wouldn't need to feed it this round. It actually doesn't come into play until the beginning of the oh, next year. I totally forgot about that. So they're, they're like they're, they're they're trekking out to your farm. Exactly. Like you've you've <laughs> sent word for them to come out, but they haven't actually worked for you yet. So I'm going to use one of these three markets. So you've got each market has some restrictions about what it can, uh, what you can sell there. Right. And you get one coin per thing. You can only sell one of each. One random coin. One random coin. <laughs> yeah. So I think that that's what I'm going to do because I honestly actually just don't have yeah. the Coins resources. Are good. I mean, you're going to need them as you continue around. So Although the one other thing I could do is I could come all the way around and go here, get rid of one of my coins, which honestly we know at the start of the game is nothing. Yeah. And hire another person. And hire another person. And then they will starve. They will starve because well, I your, per- your previous person my will previous starve. Previous person will starve because they are a vegetarian. This is why John said grain. the game is mean yeah. and <laughs> punishing, and I'm We're like, say starve a lot. <laughs> I'm like, oh, it is so fun. Um, <laughs> but my neighborly help would be harder. But then I would produce more. You know what? Lean Sorry, in. let's lean in. Yeah. All right, so let's do that. We're gonna start here. We're gonna go all the way around. I should have sold, but you know, whatever. Paying a coin for this. Paying a coin for this, and then. To grain. Bye. And let's see. They're this. trekking towards your farm. This was very this was this is not a game where you don't need you shouldn't pay attention. I should have paid attention <laughs> before I did any of the things that I did. But you know what, guys? Let's put myself in a hole and see if it works out. Yeah, it's great. All right. So that's that. And now Winter. Winter. So winter is bad. Winter is where everybody gets cold and hungry. So This is particularly bad because it, it really I have a <laughs> So first first thing that happens in winter is our workers go back to, to their home. They homes. come home, yep. Gosh, I keep this is bad. I didn't it's right there. I didn't even look at it. <laughs> That's why I said they'd start. Oh God. Hmm. Okay. So don't play like me. Don't do it. Don't play like me. Just think about all the food you'll have in the future. Oh, this is a great instructional moment. Yes. <laughs> so, right now, we ne- each need to pay a food that matches our laborer. So, in John's case... Nom, nom, nom. They eat this fish. That's great. Easy. Now, in my case, we need to eat a grain. What's interesting is that because of this, of where we are this year, all the farmers want to be fed double grain. They worked really hard, and yep. they want to eat twice. Yep. Um, the issue is that not only do grain. I not have a grain, which... You know, would have required me to get one neighborly help token. Fine. Okay. That's fine. <laughs> cool thing about neighborly help tokens, you can pay them back by paying uh, three goods, and that's fine. They go away. Otherwise, that's just a wild resource that you get. Yeah. Nice neighbors. The problem is if you have to take two neighborly help tokens, the second one that you take, the first one can never go away. Yeah. So now I've just given myself automatically negative two points. And of course, if I were to take another one, this one would become permanent. Yep. And if I'm stuck with both of these at the end of the game, I will have negative four points. But so you're gonna make so much stuff next round. Oh boy, <laughs> that was painful. All right, the second thing that we need to do in winter is, um, oh gosh, John, this is really bad for me. Huh? <laughs> you're fine. Oh, it's really bad. It's, oh, it's really bad, bad for me too. Okay, so we're going to play a version of Walnut Grove where Anastasia just puts herself in the worst <laughs> position possible before the game teaching even moments. starts. We're teaching. I want to give John some credit. He did offer that we could start over, but we're not. <laughs> this is, I want you all to experience this. Oh, the, the, the wonderful world of Walnut Grove. This is so good. Um, okay. Well, so your people are cold. My people are cold. So for each campfire, you need a wood, which would be fine. Except for this year, extra campfire, extra it's wood. Extra cold. So, so that means like it's just one total, not one per person. No. So just don't play Walnut Grove like me. <laughs> don't do it. Don't play it. Bad decisions. So, yeah, you spent the, the natural food on the caravan, and then, the, then mm-hmm. this was mm-hmm. uh, more neighborly help. You mm-hmm. got some nice neighbors. 
John, however, is totally fine. I built this lovely house, mm-hmm. which is warm and cozy. Mm-hmm. So all I have to do, so I don't have to pay a wood for them. All I have to do is pay this fire. And look at that. I have a wood. I just so. really wanted to prove to the people that this game was not punishing. It, <laughs> if you pay attention, it's not punishing. This is a mindfulness exercise. Yes. Um, and that's it. That's one eighth of the game. Oh, boy. Woo. <laughs> okay. Next round. Okay. So Whew. in spring, we draw three. We choose one. Uh, we make uh, rocks better. We sell fish better. I like seeing that. And everybody feeds like normal, but we have to pay two extra wood. We need. It's going to be an extra cold winter. Okay. Like I'm just vocalizing all of this? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it won't help me, so it doesn't matter. Okay. My worker has now come to visit, but I need a lot of wood and a lot of grain. All right. So I've been thinking about it. I have these three tiles, and my gosh, I forgot how compelling every tile is in this game. Uh, <laughs> I really want to do this, because then if I put a worker down, I would make three Grain, which seems amazing. Um, we aren't really motivated to spend grain or get grain to sell or anything like that, but three is still good. However, I need two wood to uh, handle this extra cold coming. And if I did this, I would only make one wood, and then neighborly help would come along. And we don't, we don't want to talk to our neighbors. <laughs> so I feel instead pretty tempted to do that. Because then I could send one person there, make two wood, and I'd be fine. The other person could go there and make some fish that I could sell better. And I think I like that. Also, we're getting closer to enclosing this in. Technically, I could do this. Uh, that would complete this fenced-in area, and that would lock one victory point in for the rest of the game. But then there's, uh, you know, woodland pointing towards grassland. And again, I-, I need I need wood. So I could do that instead, but this is better. Cool. I'm committing to that. And then, like we said, we could just roll right into summer. So as I said, I think I am going to go here. That will make two wood. And then I will go there and I will make two fish. I'm not making any stone, so I don't get that bonus, but that's fine. The uh, fish can easily fit. The wood can easily fit. And everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's yeah. fine. Yeah. All right, well, I had some tempting choices here, too. So my first instinct was I, I kind of wanted to do this. Uh, uh, actually, no, sorry. I wanted to do this because I was oh. like, I was like, ooh, this could be three now. Like, look at that mass production, and then I get a so blue here. So much storage for your grain. It's like, awesome, right? Except for the problem that John just pointed out, which is we're going to need two wood. Two wood. I also need to, like. You, you need four wood. I need four wood. <laughs> so I think what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to go ahead and put this down here. Yeah. So that basically, also I need points because of my problems, my neighbors that yes. hate me. Um, wow, did we play, we played almost the same tile. Yeah, That's we did. That's interesting, yeah. So I'm going to put one guy here. That's going to make me two wood. And then I'm going to put- yeah, This is the power of having three people compared to my two. This guy here. That's going to make me two grain. Now, the question is, what do I want to do, right? And so... Uh, can make a couple of stone. John is going to have to move, although he could stay there. He can't do the action, but he is allowed to stay. I do not have the resources to pay for this um, action, yes. But he can just stay there and do nothing. That is, you are allowed to just block a spot <laughs> and waste your action. I got to be honest, I kind of forgot about that. Yeah. But I need wood. I don't want to... Yeah. Yeah, it would have been kind of maybe good for me to get some stone because I would get extra Well, you're stone. not allowed to stay there and use it. You can just stay there and block oh. it. So you can't go multiple spaces, but you can just... Oh, I've got bad news for you, Anastasia. What? You go first. I do go we first. We start at the post office when we go clockwise. Oh. So so I will be blocking this. You will be blocking that. Okay, yes. so John will be blocking that. So no matter what happens, I need four wood because John is here and I'm going to go first and he's going to block it. And every choice that I've made in this game has been bad so far. <laughs> so... Um, At least you can feed your people and mostly keep them warm. Can I? Can I? Um, so what I choices are going to be is basically, am I going to go get wood or do I want to produce a little bit of wood? So one thing I could do is I could actually go here and make another wood, but I'm going to have to store it down here. So You'd be down one. Or you zoom, I guess, over here and take two wood and be fine, but it costs you your other coin. And it costs me my action, too. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah it the is... action is not nothing. So, oh, or... Hey, Anastasia, what's the hotel? Okay, John, go ahead and give an errata for the for the people. Just fill them in. If you can't tell, uh, Anastasia taught me this game like, like <laughs> half an hour ago. So yeah, I, we totally both missed this. So something should be happening here, right? Don't 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 blame it on me. Do you like how you just like if you can't tell, Anastasia taught me the game, therefore we made a mistake. Like 
Like, no, no, <laughs> you were handling setup. This is on you. It's true. It's true. <laughs> okay. So, uh, John and I have to randomly, we missed out a part of the hotel, which wouldn't have mattered because neither of us used it. So here are two guys randomly chosen. That's how this kind of gets set up. So a two player game, you put two random people here, just yeah. like here and here. Yeah, so we okay. just missed a spot. So this is available in case anyone has noticed that thus far. It hasn't see. really affected us because of where we started, but yeah. that is an option. So, John, you can go hire a worker and then enjoy the pains of employment. Of not yourself. being able to keep them warm. Yeah. Yeah. But, but, so, but okay. Yeah. So, all right. So, I'm just choosing whether or not what I want to make. I, I think that, um, unfortunately, given my circumstances, I think I am going to go here and I'm, I am going to spoiler go let's not spoiler because i'm about to do it i'm gonna go and collect some goods <laughs> yeah. so you got yeah one stone plus one yeah so you I are get, rolling in resources which is good because i need to get rid of this neighborly help token so i actually yeah. might do that fairly quickly here which is yeah. just you know get it's rid of some stuff yeah all right but as you can see you you don't make a lot so yeah. let's hope that this is all going to work out it's time for the fall I love that for me. Well, what I really wanted to do was go here and sell everything, but now I have no wood, and that is just a problem yep. for this. So as much as I would like to go sell all my goods, I'm going to come over here, cross the spot, get rid of another coin, which everyone already knows is a zero, but from now on out, and I'm going to take two wood. Now, interestingly, it's a good thing I had to pay that coin because I'm also out of storage. Yeah. So this is the only way I can hold. Guys, this is a plan. Yeah. This is a plan. You have so much stuff. This is a plan. Yes. Okay, it's my go now. Yep. I have three fish. So, hey, look, a hotel exists. Uh, <laughs> I, could, I obviously did not plan for this. Um, but I could go there and hire one of these people. The problem is that I would not be able to feed either of them. Um, so I would take a neighborly help. Oh, no, I wouldn't. They don't arrive until the next season. They don't. Ooh, that's too tempting. Ugh. Yep, too tempting. Look at John play the game perfectly. <laughs> Th Shut this is up. luck. So yeah. I'm going to pay these two fish, and I uh, I feel like I should hire this uh, <laughs> vegetarian because we've already seen one of the penalizing 2x on yellow. Yeah, it's the, the only yellow. thing making me feel better about that. Yeah. yeah, so I feel like if I take this person, do we see all of these every game? We or do. There, we do. So, it's just the order that they come okay, out. Okay, so it's it's possible there won't be another 2x yellow. So I'm going to hire this person. They haven't arrived at my farm yet. For what it's worth, neither one of us know the game well enough to know if that's going to happen, but he is, I, I would say that's a problem. Yeah, we're not guess. counting the stack. Uh, I'm just trying to make a decision between the two things. And it's winter. Okay, it's yeah. winter. So All right. um, two extra wood. I'll just spend that right here. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Oh, no, this person hasn't arrived yet. He doesn't Whew. arrive, yeah. <laughs> like my mini little heart attack there. Yeah. Um, so I paid these for the extra fire. No fire needed here this round. And then this fisherman wants to eat. And look at that. <laughs> <laughs> just sitting here with zero with a this couple of zero coins this is not a game where you're just gonna make all the resources and just like hold on to them no yeah. this is this is what it was like John this is a farming simulation yes. you thought Agricola was this well, you've never played Agricola I have not actually played Agricola this is, guys this is the beginning of punishing <laughs> farming games for John yes come back I have soon. not avoided playing Agricola we'll make yeah, that happen it's one of my gaps okay so um, this one I will say is maybe a little more I don't know it depends on your perspective it's, I'm having fun <laughs> it is it is um tight. Yes. All right, so let's let's okay, so everyone come home. Okay, hang out. This farmer was like this laborer was like, Oh, I want to stay in the nice house. Yeah. Okay. Um two grain, four wood. So two for my campfire, because I don't have houses uh for my laborers, and two for the extra. Okay, but look at me. I'm still loaded. Yes. All right. And you could you can pay off the neighbors. I could uh, is pay that off an, the neighbors. Anytime action? It is an anytime action. So you can just kinda wait. Yeah, and probably I, until the moment you need to pay off the neighbors again. Exactly, <laughs> and I think that that is going to be my decision because I might want to sell. And yeah, I if think, it's an anytime thing, there's no reason to spend it right yeah. now. Yeah, so cool. that's the thing. That's a quarter of the game done. Yeah. Yep. And um, technically, I think some points have happened. <laughs> Not a whole <laughs> lot. Um, okay, so we have once again uh, three and one for springs. So we draw three. We place one. Uh, we produce extra wood. Mm. Uh, yellow sells better. Mm. and white farmers. So these are the people who eat. The, they're the carnivores. They eat sheep. We pay 2x. And neither of us have any of those. What I really need, though, is like a, a draw three, place two. I know. They exist. Yeah, they we do. Just, it's been slow going. Uh, and we do also have an extra fire. Yes. Required. Ugh. Okay. I have these three tiles. 
and I am pretty motivated to place one of these two. This one would be nice as well, for what it's worth. I could do that, and now that's a huge stone area, but we're motivated uh, to make extra wood and, I guess, kind of grain. Also, I need grain because I have a vegetarian here. So that makes me want to do this because that's three tiles, and one person can make three grain, which seems pretty nice. The problem is, if I do this and then I get, like, two fish, three grain, uh, three wood, I don't have any sheep, and looking ahead on the town rondelle, it's like, sheep, sheep. Like, like the, the two things I really want to do, like, increase the amount of people and increase storage, both require sheep, but I think it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. I Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, I'm going to go with this. I think that's probably the best call. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and do my summer, while Anastasia thinks. So, we will make two fish. Three grain, which I can just barely hold on the fields. And two wood plus one. So three wood. Who needs barns? <laughs> Who needs barns? Okay. I'm good until fall. Okay. So I have an interesting choice here. Um, I have a lot of ways I could like kind of close off fences, which kind of seems like mm. fun. Like I could close fences off that points. water. Yeah. I could close this off. Um, I also, what I really would have liked was similar to John, is I would like to put another yellow here just to kind of get this grain engine going plus grain cells. Yeah. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to make more wood. And the question is, do I do this for an extra spot? Or do I do this, close that oh, off? For guaranteed point. Guaranteed point. And it since makes I'm, three, it holds three. Yeah, I'm out of coins. I, oh, I but think you're, okay. you're going to make four, so you will have to use your barn, but you have space in your barn. Yeah, I do. Um, and. I'm sort of hopeful that John is not going to go here because he didn't make himself any. I have no sheep. Sheep. So I, I think it's impossible for me to go there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, There's no I... like two to ones or wilds or anything. Frankly, I wouldn't have known that, so I shouldn't say that. That's true. We're doing the simultaneous technically, <laughs> yeah. but yeah. So okay. So I think I'm going to go here just because. I mean, I probably wouldn't do it anyway. I don't yeah. have storage problems. I mean, the point is good, but like, yeah. that's not my my biggest. I'm already issue. kind of hemorrhaging uh, points, so more points is good. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, so this is going to look like, I'm going to put this guy here. So like John, I'm going to get three wood. Uh, so one, two, three. And then because of the extra, I get an extra one. So, and then I'm going to go here for the two grain that I'm going to need to feed everyone. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to go here for sheep. Now I have a little bit of everything. Yeah. I guess technically I could have gone here. I can go anywhere. Yeah. Um, and so. That's summer. We are loaded. Yeah. We are loaded up. So now it's fall. I go first because I'm yep. closest clockwise to the post office. Okay. So, yeah, I'm here. I, I kind of want to go here, honestly, and get just a couple of cubes. A couple of cubes would be nice, but I can't. And I don't have any sheep. So I could go here and. That's the first time John's crossing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it is. Uh, I could go here. I don't want to sell the wood. I could sell the fish. I would get one coin, but grain is extra incentivized. So part of me wants to rush all the way over here and sell grain there to get an extra coin, but then I have to spend another coin immediately. But I just said I don't really care about all this stuff because I don't really have sheep right now. That is a really long way of saying let's spend a coin and sell. So I spend one of my coins. I can look at them. Obviously, they're both zeros. And it's the first sell action of the game. So, oh, you could do each one of these once. Exactly. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> so I could sell the uh, the grain that I have. This grain, I'll sell that. Goes back to the bank. I draw one random coin out of the bag, but then I draw an extra one. Yep. So, I will know what these are. Everyone watching will know what they are. Yes. But you will not. I will not. And the thing is, if I draw two twos, it's like amazing. But then I'm never going to want to give those up. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, like almost these are like freebies to kind of run around the board a little bit. Well, the first two. Okay, those are the two that I got. I'm just going to put those down. And then I can sell again. I can't sell grain again, but I can sell a sheep, which I don't have, or a fish, which I do have. I don't need both of these fish. I'm selling already. Let's just do it. Yeah, and it's important to note that you are limited on storage for your coins. Like, so even if yeah, he had, I only had a have sheep, one spot left. He would have had to get rid of a coin. This to... is why you want to expand your barns. You know, the thing that I just jumped over and won't be back to until I spend a bunch. Definitely of Definitely not a game where you can do everything. No, no. no. <laughs> so I will draw one more coin, and it's this one. Great, and I am done with fall. What are you doing? Love it. Okay. So, you know, I'm not going to do any more stupid decisions, but you can kind of see in this game how, like, <laughs> hiring people seems like a great idea, except for the... the Their liability. They, they cost so much. They do. 
Um, but they cost so much in the future. Like the rounding higher, they'd be like, I know, oh, whatever. It's about only about one <laughs> sheep. Yeah. Yeah, but um, but you have to take them on yes. and and feed them and store you know store them, <laughs> <laughs> uh, feed them and care for them and yep. give them shelter. So. Um, what I am going to do is go here, since I'm clearly playing this like resource storage heavy game. game. That makes yeah. sense. It's a guaranteed take this point. Storage. Um, I can get. There's a only wood. one more, and if I don't get that next time I'm around, I could really be in trouble. Like if these are all awesome coins, then yay! But yeah, ugh, as far as the, <laughs> all yeah. the negative points I might get for storage, gives me more space. I can clear this out of my storage. I use the sheep, so that's yeah. what I'm gonna do. All right. And winter has arrived. So all our people come home. And then none of us have. Yeah, we have, um, we have no carnivores that want sheep. Yep. So. So, so the, it's just normal plus one wood. Yep. So I'm going to pay my two grain for my two farmers, or they're not farmers. I'm pay my two grain for my two vegetarians, vegetarians. <laughs> and then, then I'm going to pay two for their their campfires plus the one for the additional. Yep. And then I will feed a grain to the vegetarian, a fish to the pescatarian, and one fire for this person out in the cold and then one more wood for that and next year yep now you're gonna notice that see how john just flipped Ooh, over it's and, a four two oh sorry, sorry. yes what, what were you gonna say the, the a's and b's the a's and b's the b's are slightly different so we're kind of we're entering there's gonna be a little bit of a change as yeah we continue interesting forward. so just again we did not know this in the A's, it's three one three one three one four two. Yep. So the, one of these will be a double, and for us, it just happened to be the last one. I'm ready the, for uh, the double. I'm a little sad that the doubles come out now that John and I have equal workforce. Yeah. Uh, but whatever, you know, whatever. John, John. I'm waiting for John to fall on his face. You know, <laughs> I don't know what he's got over there. I mean, uh, there's no extra. It's not a particularly cold winter, but there's the the, the pescatarians one extra what, fish. One and extra I have fish. one of those, so that's a thing to keep in mind. I kind of jumped ahead. We do make extra sheep. In mm -hmm. the summer, and wood sells better. No extra campfires this time, so that's nice. Yeah, yeah. There's been a lot of cold winters to start. All right, I think I'm good to to lock this in. So I got these four. Uh, I want to make extra sheep. I just think that's a good idea. I want to make uh, fish because, well, this person needs to eat two fish. So I may as well do both of these things better. So I think I'll put this there. So that's a th size three fishing area. And then if I take one of these two angled sheep, I can get three sheep when I place there. Actually, four sheep uh, because of the year bonus. The question is, do I want to do this and potentially go it out more? Or I'll lock that in. It only makes the uh, these three, but it's a guaranteed fence enclosure. I don't have any people that eat sheep, so I guess I don't necessarily need it to grow more. I'm going to commit to this. So uh, those are the two out of the four. Then I'll just go ahead and do my summer. I am going to... Make three fish. I will make three sheep plus another one from here, so four sheep. And now for the real question. What does the farmer do? <laughs> so I have three people. I need one wood for the campfire, and I already have the wood. So I'm kind of okay. I can feed everybody. They won't get cold. So I can look to the future. How about that? How about that for a concept? Whoa. Yeah. Whoa, planning ahead. I know. Let's see. I'm over here. I could spend a coin, then I could do a whole bunch of other things. I am going after Anastasia, though. Yeah, unfortunately. I just realized that, too. Yeah. Unfortunately. Interesting. Uh, I was like, mm, I don't necessarily want to plan ahead for something and then have it blow up in my face. Oh, this is interesting. If I went here to make three grain, I'd only keep two of it. Can you um, just discard things from your warehouse? Or you, you, can. you can. Yes. Pew. Yep. Okay. Well, that's, that's a good thing to know. What are you going to do, John? I don't know. I wish I was going first. Part of me wants to go here, just get some wood. I'll be happy I have it in the future. Part of me wants to go there and get a stone to leave some of my options available to me, but you go first. You go first. I mean, hey, I'm just going to say it out loud. I'm worried you're going to go here. <laughs> yep. You already have a stone and a, a food, a fish. Yep. So, And you haven't taken any of these yet. No. Nope. You've been hemorrhaging wood to, to keep everybody warm. Yep. So I think it's very likely you're going to zoom over here. Yep. So I can't necessarily plan to take this by doing that one stone. Yep. If you don't do this and I don't take the stone, then I will feel unhappy. Yeah. <laughs> I can go here instead. Uh, I think you are going to go here. You haven't told me what you're going to do, but I feel like if I was you, I would go here. Mm -hmm. So I will play accordingly. I'll go here. I'll get two wood. I'm sure I'll be happy I have these in the future, especially if I don't get that house because I'm going to have some cold people. And I'm done summering. Again, technically this is simultaneous. Yep. But, but she had that uh, stone and that fish 
before this. So I, I knew that already. Anyway, so yeah. what are you doing? Okay. So here are my choices. So given that we make double, we make a double sheep this round, this just seems too fun to ignore. So I'm going to go ahead. We seem about placing it here, but I just really want to get this grain production up. Yeah, so, you have two grain people. Yeah. So I want to go here for that. And then separately, I'm going to do this because actually the advantage between these two is this one closes the other area. So right now I'm just getting, you know, I already have two enclosed things. Yeah. So I'm starting to offset some of my, my issues there. So... Um, so I'm going to do that. Then we're going to go here. We're going to make three grain, which is awesome. And then we're going to go here, and we're going to make three wood, yeah, which is also awesome. And then we're going to go here, and we're going to make – so let's get that wood going. And we're going to make three sheep. Yeah, two for the board and one for the season. Two for the board and one for the season. So – I'm feeling pretty good. I yeah. mean, I know I've got all this neighborly help, and it all seemed bad. Putting two tiles down, I'm like, wow, this feels like yeah. luxurious. I'm like, I'm like, <laughs> but you know, and I'm taking up my storage. I don't have any coins, but you know, now I've got some options. I've got some Very storage flexible. area. Very flexible. And all then right. you go to town. All right, so we'll I love, that I love <gasps> that John just laid that all out. It's a beautiful plan. It's she a has beautiful. No coins. But I have no coins. I have no coins, and while I could spend the resources oh to get rid of this, and and I might. I could. He he laid it out so beautifully that it's so tempting. I mean, you, oh my gosh, you made you such a no convincing coins. argument for it. But it just seems like the better, stupider option <laughs> would be to hire a fourth person. Right? Like, yeah. It seems absolutely insane. Yes. But I'd have to pay three to get rid of this, which I need to figure out, and then go over there, then pay the read just to get rid You know, I just feel like... This is a terrible idea. But it also, now that he's done all of that, yeah. it feels so good because he can't do it. It's true. Which sets me up for the next I round. I can't believe I didn't notice that. I love it for me. <laughs> um, I was and, thinking all, I was like, yeah, I, I got this. I'm figuring it yeah, all out. Yeah, you did. She's got you the did. Coins. The thing is, I could have, right? I am allowed to pass this. I would just have to take another oh, neighborly help token. Okay, okay. That's, I didn't realize so I the am, neighbors could give you money yeah, as well. Yeah, they can. I okay. just have to take another one of those, which would mean flipping this over. Well, I feel less silly then. Or getting rid of it. Yeah. And then, you know, so I, I feel like I'm in enough debt already, and I'm... <laughs> I'm, I kind the of neighbors are just, they cannot stop talking about you. They're kind of annoyed, to be honest with me, because they're like, you have so many goods. Pay me back. Jeez. Yeah. But I'm just sort of tempted to do this. Do it. I think you I probably am, don't take the, the fishy person, though, right? I do, because it doesn't come into effect until oh, the next round. Oh, gosh, that's the rule I keep forgetting. And, you know, although I do make more sheep now, but I haven't really found a reason to spend my fish. Yeah. I, I don't know. And then that's already come out. Although we are going to go into the beach aisles now, which are different. So Probably meaner, I, I would assume. I honestly don't remember. Ooh. You know what? Actually, I think because I do kind of want to maybe do that and John can't. So I, I'm going to be crazy. I'm going here. I did not pay yet, so I will pay my sheep. And then the question really was just, do I want to take a blue or a sheep? Ugh. It's so hard because... I mean, again, like this is going to be gone, so yeah. potentially you pay less in the future. Yeah. But you already just... make a lot of sheep and you don't make a lot of fish. I know. So I do make a lot of sheep and I don't make a lot of fish. So I think it's tempting to take... You know what? I think I am... I think I am going to take this. Because... The sheep eater. Yeah. I think because I I do make more I sheep than I do I would probably fish. do that in your position. Yep. So I, I have... To... I, I want to move. I yeah. don't want to stay here and do nothing. So I'm going to cross over this, so I have to get rid of a coin. Um, do we reveal this? I don't think we do. No. Well, you all could see. <laughs> uh, I don't think Anastasia is going to be surprised. That's the second <laughs> coin I made this game. Um, so here's the thing. I don't have two of this. I don't have this. I don't have that. But I could just go here. Yeah. I don't have enough storage for both of the goods I'd be taking. But I mostly want to go here so that I go first next round so that I get first dibs on this. Yep. And with that in mind. Oh, you suck. I know. <laughs> I was like, that was your turn to do it. If you didn't do it, then I'll get to jump ahead. Um, or if you had gone here. Yeah. Then, but yeah, you went there. I was like, yes. So I think, do I just take a stone? It feels bad, but it sets me up for a better turn later. It's all going to work out. It's I don't, I don't, you know out. what? We live, we, we can't, really we love campfires here. Just going to complain for a second. I wish I had more storage. Wah. 
<laughs> uh, so I could punt one of these coins away, but I am choosing not to, which might make Anastasia raise her eyebrows. And now it's winter. Mm. So all of the blue people, all the pescatarians eat two. I can bring everybody yep, back. Yep, everybody comes back. So yeah, this person eats two fish. This person eats one grain. Uh, this person doesn't eat anything. That person is cold. They burn up some wood, and that's my winter. Okay, so these guys eat two grain. They're each cold. This person hasn't come into play yet, so that's that. We're halfway through the game. We are. Let's the first do bee. It. What are bees like? I don't remember. They are. Ooh. Oh. Okay. Hey. Uh, mean. I'm really glad I didn't take that blue. <laughs> Jeez, they're mean. Okay, so drawing okay. three, uh, picking one. Pretty gonna... standard. We're going to make extra sheep. Fish sells really well, and we need. It's a really cold winter, and the. Yellow and blue, the, the pescatarians and vegetarians. This is so good. I'm doubles. so glad I and hired so many people. It's not yeah. going to be punished. I mean, at you all. did just hire a, a, a sheep eater, so that probably feels good. It does feel good. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. It feels good. But we need to make some things happen. Yeah. So we need some wood. We need some serious wood production. Yeah, I'm feeling a little bit better about, about the uh, excess wood I made last round now. Yeah. Oh, I just realized I made all this sheep last round, I didn't use any of them. So they're all stuck on these, yeah. these spots <laughs> no. and then make extra sheep. So I think this might be the first round. I don't actually make use of that benefit. I think I'm going to go ahead and commit to this. Uh, that makes a nice big rock area. I don't really need rocks, but rocks I now realize are pretty crucial to getting these end game conditional scoring tiles. So making a big rock area is probably a good idea. It gets me a little bit closer to fencing some things in. So these go away. I'm just going to finish my summer while Anastasia thinks and definitely does not listen to what I'm saying. I like how you keep saying while well, Anastasia thinks, which is <laughs> what she really means is we're just doing it this way. Yeah, we're just doing it this way. I'm ready. <laughs> I just jumped in. I didn't say I got to go first. I just started talking. She's going to talk first. So yeah, uh, this person will go here. They make three fish. That's four fish. I'm not a cheater. This person makes three grain. And then... Ooh, is this a mistake not making wood? Well, I need this to feed. I need this to feed. I don't need the stone. But two wood are going away there. Whatever. We're sticking with it. I'm making three stone. I'll deal with it in the future. Maybe the neighbors will come by finally. <laughs> and, come visit. Uh, so I'm I am ready. I appreciate it. I will take as much time to think as I am ever given. Um, <laughs> but here are my choices. Um, I really, really should build this here and make some more wood. Make a big wood um, but area. But guys, have I ever done anything in this game that makes any sense? <laughs> no. Let's just do this. It makes a kind of sense. Let's just. I'm all about enclosing those fences. I'm really trying to balance my my bad decisions, my debt from the beginning of the game. So, yeah. uh, I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna make one, two, three, four sheep because of the bonus. Yeah. Do you so, want to pay off your neighborly debt first? No. Okay. No, I want to. Why would I pay off the debt? You've got all these barns. Like, I, wh why have a barn thing. and not fill it, right? Why Exactly. Why have a barn and not fill it? <laughs> I might want to pay off the debt, but I'm just enjoying letting it ride <laughs> there. So let's just fill it. We, we, we may make some different decisions later. Okay. And then, although John does make a great point, which is I could pay it off and then produce. That's what I was thinking. Here. Yeah. He makes a great point because if I am going to perchance sell, for example. You would need spots for those coins. I would need spots for those coins. All right, John. John, sometimes you give good advice. <laughs> so only sometimes. Sometimes. You know, this was a good plan, too. <laughs> I just ignored it. All right, so let's go ahead and, John's right, let's pay off this neighborly debt with a little bit of this uh, sheep situation. Um, just and pretend then, you paid it off first. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to pretend I paid it off first. It's gone. No, we're look at us. Look at us. We are in less debt, mm -hmm. um, but we still have quite a bit of. I think you are. No, no, you're, you're definitely positive. There's two points per person. <laughs> ship, ship situation. Um, all right, and so then we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna go here. We're gonna make three. I, I do kind of anticipate. Oh boy, wait. I didn't anticipate this. This is gonna be four. Uh, okay. I mean, it's gonna be fine. 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 May not end up selling that. Yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then we're going to go here where we're going to make three wood. And again, we're a little bit out of space. So one, two, three. But okay, so here's the deal. We need a fifth wood in order to deal with the two campfires and all mm -hmm. of this. So we're going to have to put our last guy here just yeah. to make that one wood. I'm curious, uh, not yeah. having read the rules. If this showed wood, is that plus one for every wood area you do? 
Oh, John. It probably is. What a great question. Each figure in a matching land area produces one additional good. So, yeah. yeah so, so, if it was wood, you would have made two extra. Exactly. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Good to know. Um, action time, right? Action time. You're All never right. going to guess what I do. <laughs> I've been talking about it for like two full rounds. How okay. mad are you that that took you two, two, two turns to do? <sighs> I'm actually okay with it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty okay with it. The winners are cold. So there we go. Oh, I have my god! Two extra houses. I got both of them. Now you go. I love that. All right. So I'm going to go here, and I am going to sell. Um, and uh, I'm, I'm actually glad I'm only going to make three coins because I don't – well, actually, I'm going to spend some of it. So I'm going to spend one fish. I'm allowed to sell fish, grain, and sheep. So we're going to do fish and sheep. And we're not actually going to do grain because we need all four of it. And Gotta that seems it. like a bad decision. So we'll sell yeah. those two. Now I'm going to get Three two coins, coins uh, just for selling and an extra coin yeah, yeah, for yeah. the benefit. So although it is tempting to draw four and just like go for the neighbor to help. But I think that's a bad decision. <laughs> I think we made enough. Do we agree we made enough <laughs> bad decisions? Just look at all those enclosed fence yards. It is kind of cool. Like if you think about the the randomness of this, if you were able to draw coins earlier before everyone puts all their zeros back, like you do slightly better. But um, hey, you oh. could say the same exact thing about fighting in eclipse. Wow, that's a great. The, I love these coins. This is the best, <laughs> isn't it? Great. My sarcasmometer is is off the charts. No, that's amazing. But I'm not actually sure if. But sometimes I can't read your sarcasm. Yeah, you can't trust me at all. <laughs> is the is the answer to that? All right. That was great. That and now it's winter. Okay, everybody comes home. Here we go. All right, so I'm gonna go first. Let's see. I've got one, two, three, four, five. We talked about it. So we've got uh, five wood. Five wood, and then each of my uh, grain uh, <laughs> grain eaters <laughs> need extra. So literally all of those goods gone. <laughs> so that's that. Uh, okay, I look at how cozy and warm my. Oh my, my god! Farm is. Shut up, John. <laughs> so Come on. It's a cold winter. I'm gonna pay these two for the extra there. Yeah. Um, both of my people are very hungry though. So <laughs> this person eats two fish. This person eats two uh, grain. Whatever. What? All right, here we go. Starting to close in on the end game here. Oh, it's two one. Oh. Apparently that's a thing. Choices uh, are not as good. What? Every. Everyone. everyone. Yeah. That's all. Yeah, every Ooh. single laborer. But look at that. Look at that. Look at that wood. We just talked about this. I yeah. love that for me. Two extra wood. Oh, you sell uh, bricks or stone better. I do. Interesting. Okay. These these are our two options here. I, I think I need to start enclosing in some fences. Like, the game is, is getting on. So, yeah. I'll place that there. Get rid of this. I'll just run right into summer. I still have not spent any of these sheep. I really should get around to doing that. Uh, both of these people are going to double eat, which is kind of a problem. Shoot. Well, definitely want to make uh, fish. I need to make grain. So if I went there, I'd make three, but I only have spots for two. And I don't have storage over here before that happens. I could go here and make one and one, which just seems silly. Uh, that Feeling that's better, but yeah, I'm definitely feeling the pinch of not having extra storage. And I will need a couple of wood. So going there is probably a good idea. Yeah. I'll roll with this. So that's going to be three fish, three grain. Two can go there. And do I want to discard any of these? I guess. Ooh, I don't think I do. Yeah, I'm going to forego this grain because I think I want to keep these for various reasons. I might regret that. And then this is going to make three wood plus one. So four wood. And I am ready for the fall. All right. So I first had a terrible idea, which was to place this here and then just have Fences. no spots. Yeah. yeah. But I realized what I could do is actually place this down here. And I will fence in this area, but uh, still get the double. pretty good, yeah. I was tempted to do the same thing with this one, but what this does is actually kind of lets me close this off more quickly, even yeah. though I will have to use some space down here. But I think that's what I'm going to do. You could, you could activate th really four am, forest areas. Really <laughs> trying to get some stuff. Well, I am going to start by doing these two. Yeah, so let's, for sure. Let's get uh, three for this one. Oh, boy. Oh. <laughs> so I'll do one, two, extra good down here. And then uh, we're going to get three, four. So I might actually have to ditch a coin uh, if we go a little too crazy here. But yeah. 
Uh, but that is so much wood, and it's yeah. great. Plus two wood so far, because you did two different forest yeah. areas. So that that is awesome. All right, now we're going to go here, because we absolutely need it. We need to get three. And then the real thing is that the downside of this is that we absolutely, since we need two of everything, we have it here, because I'm pretty sure we have to go here. Doesn't really matter where, but somewhere where we get that like extra one yellow. more grain. Yeah. yeah. So it's been interesting having extra workers. I've almost needed. I've almost always needed to use the extra one just to sustain the workforce. So yeah, that is that is tricky. And honestly, like I think part of that's been enclosing things. Like if I had built this massive yellow, like this one worker could be just feeding everyone. Yeah, exactly, churning lots. But of things. you're so, tempted to get those points with the fences. But it shows that there's so much to think about in this game. Like yeah. there, it 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 is very tight. It's it's fast. There's not a lot of turns, but it has a lot of variability and kind of layers, which is fun. Okay. It's time for the fall, yeah? Let's do it. All right, John, what are you going to do? So I can afford to take one of these. It's Ugh. three He keeps stone. doing the thing I want. Like <laughs> I'm like, oh, come on. Do you have three stone? No, I don't, but I was going to like, I'm going to get there. It? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, well, I kind of need to clear this out of the way. Um, so this one right here would be worth one point for every pawn I have at the end yeah. of the game. Right now, that's three points to me. This is one point for every, uh, essentially, uh, house or barn yeah. I have, right? Um, so that's currently worth Two points. The, the, does this count the ones that are pre-printed on the board? It does. It does. Okay. Yeah. So I actually have four of those. Yep. Four is a bigger number than three, <laughs> generally speaking. So I'm going to go there. I'm going to finally use one of these many sheep. I'll get rid of all of the stone. And yeah, I'm going to go for the four-pointer. Each barn and hut that you have. Let's see. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Each barn and hut that you have, including the one that you started with. Yeah. Well, you don't start with a hut. You start with a barn. You don't start with any huts. This is a house. Oh, got it, got it. So you yeah. So, so this is actually three points, not four. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's a house, not a hut. Take that um, back. So, but I really do need to expand my storage. The question is, will I get here before Anastasia? Yeah, we only have three more actions on this board. Yeah, I only have two more actions two for more the whole after this one. game. Yeah, I'll stick with this. Okay, I'll stick with this. I might end up regretting it, but I'll stick with it. Okay. So, I'm going to go... Okay, so I'm going to cross here. So, I'm going to pay my coin. Everyone knows what it was. It's not important. We're not going to hire another worker. I know it's shocking, but we, <laughs> we're not. We're going to actually go here. But there's nothing to do here. There is nothing to do there. I don't know why we thought we could go there. Like, it was a good idea. Why do we keep playing this game? Like, everything <laughs> is a good idea. Also, I just realized we need a, a little bit of an errata. Oh, do we? Uh, yeah, it looks like the carpenter, they both do one of... They, they have stacks for each. <laughs> <laughs> so this is not the double double. We'll we'll just roll with it. We'll roll with it. We'll roll with it. It's John, fine. John's never gonna let me teach a game here again. <laughs> Welcome to John Gets Games, <laughs> where you can learn games incorrectly from people who are not John. <laughs> I'm so glad you came to hang out with us today. <laughs> this is wrong, and uh, but it, was, it was symmetrically wrong. So it was symmetrically yeah. wrong. It was balanced. I don't think it. It, it, it yeah. maybe matters more with more people. I don't know. Yeah. It is what it is. I'll tell you what. We've had fun. You know what? <laughs> yes. You play this game however you want to play it. Yes. Correctly or incorrectly. Sorry for the asterisks. Well, John, I'm not going there. No. Oh, my gosh. Where am I going to go? What am I going to do? That's why I was kind of worried that you might just woo over here uh, before I could get there. Well, I would have now if I'd known what I was thinking. It would cost you another coin. It cost me another coin. Let's see. You started here, right? Yeah. What what cells get this round? Stone. Stone. I think I'm gonna go here. That's pretty good. So you have. Let's yeah. see. I but the problem is I can't sell grain again, and I can't sell no. Oh, you have exactly enough sheep and exactly enough grain. It's not good for me. It's one coin. It's two coins. It is two coins. It is two coins. And you're about to spend another coin. Why don't I just go buy another person? I mean, really, what's the point? No, I'm kidding. Because um, if you do, <laughs> the people you have will starve. <laughs> the neighbors will have to come around. Oh, it's just so tempting. Um, oh, my gosh. Okay. Or I could, mm, yeah, I think I'm just, I don't feel like I'm making the most efficient turns, but that is that is where we are at in the world. So I mean, You might pull two twos. Uh, you're right. I might. <laughs> I might. Technically, so we're so gonna yeah, go there. One stone for two coins. For two coins, 
I mean, I could go crazy and then just sell it all and get a neighborly help. I mean, what's the worst thing that happens to me? Neighborly help was minus two. Uh, you would. Yeah, uh, I'm not sure would, how the math would go. But. I'm not sure it's the best decision of my life. <laughs> but let's start. You know what? Let's start by selling the stones. Yes, and see exactly. How we feel. Hmm. Well. Wow. Does that change your your feelings, your mood? Well, what one neighborly help like isn't the worst thing in the world, right? <laughs> Like, it's not so bad. I mean, how many neighborly helps can you do? This is terrible. <laughs> You're, like, watching this game to, like, learn how to play it, how it goes. Just go off a cliff, Anastasia. <laughs> just, like, just go off a cliff. <laughs> What's the worst thing that What's could happen? What's the worst thing that could happen? <laughs> that. I just keep selling and getting crap is the worst thing that could happen. Oh, the coins are good, huh? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Farming sucks. <laughs> Next. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so it's winter time, eh? It's a cold winter. Everybody's hungry. Uh, Why can't right. they just all move into this house together? I, I don't know. understand. The it's farmer's huge. very selfish. <laughs> it's so selfish. All right. So I'm going to just, I'll do it first. I spend two wood for the really cold winter. Everybody's nice and warm in their cozy huts. Uh, two grain, two fish. I'm good. All right. I'm going to, okay. Four. So four grain. Four sheep, two, four grain, two sheep, five wood. One, two, three, four, five. I mean, remember, every person that you're taking, they are worth two points at the end of the game. They better be. Two because whole points. But you know what's worth negative two points? <laughs> they really helped the house. <laughs> it equalizes out. Oh, God. There's balance. There's right. balance. Yeah, I think you're allowed to move between storehouses, and I don't care because just for, I yeah, need them all to uh, be It would like not that. make sense, yeah. <laughs> all right, what's happening? So four, one. Okay, we come make, on. Make lots of stone. We sell grain better, and uh, fish people are not as hungry as everybody else. For the first time, I'm still not going to go first. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, taking four choices here. Four so, yeah, choices. This is. Oh uh, boy. This is. Uh, yeah, it's kind of unfortunate for you. You don't have any fish people, and they're the only ones who. Yeah. It almost feels like a discount now, not spending two. Yeah. These are my four tiles, and I tell you what, I really wish I had an angle stone to make crazy use out of that. It's fine, though. It's fine. I think I'm going to put this here. We need to zoom out a bit. I'm just going to go ahead and do my stuff. That work for you? Yeah, you, you always, always. I'm just assuming you're going first. Go ahead. I Let's see. Let's make some stone. That's going to be one, two, three, four, five stone. Then... Three grain. I'll put this one into the the barn. And then part of me wants to just go here and get a bunch of fish that I don't really need. I might need them in the future. There's just one more year after this. I also just kind of want wood. I only need to spend one wood this round, though. I might spend another one later, though. I don't have room for that excess. Yeah, let's make mistakes. I'm going to go here, just get three fish, because that way I don't have to, like, burn stuff. All right, friends, I think we will be taking some neighborly help this uh, feeding. And you know what? It's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. It's just going to be the way that it is. Yep. You know, that's just how it is. So we had some really, uh, we had some fun options to close spaces, but we need to stop focusing on closing spaces and focus on making stone. And this is this is all we got for stone Yeah. that we like. So uh, that's what we're going to do. So we're going to go here. We're going to make three stone. Three stone. Boom, boom. Boom. Then we're going to go here, here, and here. So that's going to be three sheep, three wood, three grain. Biggest downside of all of this being that we will be one grain short when we go to feed those people. These vegetarians have been very Man, hungry. But we're not, you know what? We're not going to worry about that. We are just, <laughs> we are just, we're not going to worry about it. We're going to figure that out. All right. So fall? Fall. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What so are you going to do? I got a plan. My plan was to zoom over here and increase my storage because storage has been a problem. That'll be an extra point. Each of these is worth one point anyway. So that's effectively like two points. Then I can hold extra stuff. Everything's great. But then I noticed I could go here, mm. three stone and a yellow. This is two points for every one of these that you have, and I already have one. So that would be a four point tile. However, I'd have to spend a grain. I do have enough to feed everybody. That's the real question. Do I need the points 
or do I want to expand my warehouse, which will help me get points? But there's only one round after this. Like, will I even be doing a selling action? Who needs barns? <laughs> <laughs> I changed my mind. I, I definitely was planning on going here, like, yeah. like quite a bit. But yeah. uh, I'm going to go here. I have to get rid of a coin. Freeing up space in uh, the only barn I need. Just going to get rid of this. The only barn you need. <laughs> I could get this next round, too. Yeah. Uh, like, for a couple of points. Uh, so this one right here is one point for every resource in your storage at the end, right? Gosh, John, have you learned? Maybe you should read the rules. <laughs> Don't ask me anymore. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and resources on your board are not worth anything at the end of the game, right? I don't believe so, no. It yeah. looks like they're a tiebreaker. Okay. Uh, yeah, if there's a tie, you count up all your, your cubes. Okay. So, yeah, I'm going to go here, spend three stone, one grain, take the four-point tile, two and two, everything's awesome, and you are up. Okay. The great part about having not good coins is that I don't care at all about going nuts. doing this. I'm going to go here. Uh, yeah. Oh, totally. Yeah, so, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to get rid of two coins because I crossed both of these places. I'm going to go here. That's going to be three stone, and one sheep. sheep. But I'm going to get this. And one I'm going to get rewarded Four points. for having all of those people. Yeah. So, so maybe some of that people are essentially help. three points each. Yeah. Time in the game set <laughs> yeah. Two. We'll help out. Winter. Okay. I spend a wood, and then one fish, two grain, and that's my winter. All right. So I need four grain. I do not have it, so I have to take. The neighbors come by with a bushel. Neighborly help. Yeah. All right. And then I need. Uh, you do have a lot of resources that you're. Well, I do. You, I you might to I be able to pay so. that off. We'll yeah. see. Uh, Knowing that cubes on the board are just a tiebreaker means. It makes having that one that you could pay off not feel anywhere near as bad. Yeah, absolutely. So I need two sheep for this one. So two sheep, uh, again, because all of these are doubled. It's going to be so nice. The Next last round. one better be like <laughs> Just <blue>. fishermen, like <laughs> nothing else. And then uh, one, two, three, four, fire. So that will be, I think I'll take, oh, I guess I'll do this. Okay. All right. Last year of the game. All right. Here we go. All right. Okay. Two and one. Oh, so there's only one year in this entire game where you place two tiles. Two. I thought there was more, but yeah, I guess that's crazy. Yeah. So we make extra grain, we sell sheep better, and the fish eaters and sheep eaters need to eat another. I love it. All right. Sorry. I actually think one of the ways this game has, has been so popular over the years, I, I am I'm going to tell people now, I'm a little afraid. I believe it's out of print at the time of oh, publishing this video. Oh, I think this game this is video. crazy hard to find. Yeah. We should have mentioned that at the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> like, you've Sorry. owned this for like eight years back when it was I, like nobody yeah. cared about it and it was cheap. And I'm now it's sure shifted to the. Totally. <laughs> I don't, like, I literally don't remember how I bought it. I think it was like on Amazon for like. Twelve dollars or something, or I don't. Know. Back in twenty fourteen, yeah, or three something, years or twenty bucks or something. Yeah. And I was like, oh yeah, like that, whatever. Uh, <laughs> seems cool, you know, Oopsie. farming. Uh, but yeah, I don't, I don't actually remember how I picked it up, but I did not realize. Um, and uh, yeah, I think it's a really popular solo game too, which you can kind of see with the uh, the puzzle that plays out and knowing the time. Like it's just there's there's a puzzle here to be yeah. had. So I feel like when this came out in twenty eleven, solo modes were a lot more rare yeah i so know it could have been yeah that's interesting yeah well, i'm just gonna jump into this i <laughs> i think it's pretty obvious i'm just gonna do this just to get a, a fence that gets me a point this tile is really doing it for me i was kind of hoping for a gray fence thing but it's fine i think i have enough stone so i'm just gonna go with that and then i interestingly enough have enough wood i don't actually need more wood um i could hire an extra person oh this is kind of crazy i feel like my stuff is, is just kind of working now. <laughs> Good for you, John. I, I know. I'm like, oh, this person needs two fish. I have two fish. This person needs a grain. I have a grain. Uh, I, I need one fire. So, so I, I can choose. I, I, what do I want to do as opposed to what I need to do? What do I want to do? Look at him. <laughs> what do I want to do? I just have so many choices. So many choices. Well, I, I think I should make some grain. That'll be three. Actually, four. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to take it. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be punting both of these away very soon. Yeah, and then I think I'm going to make some stone and some fish. That's three fish. This is starting to make me feel like I should have hired more people. Uh, <laughs> they, they, well, no, I don't know, John. Like, I'm like, oh, this is like kind of like, in quotes, too easy in this last round. It feels like 
maybe it would have been more efficient to get another person um, to make use of all this. Like this is opportunity. Right. These are all potential so points yeah. that could have been feeding another two point person who would also be making me stuff. Right. Um, anyway, this person goes here. I get one, two, three, four stone, and I am done until fall. Interestingly, you could hire a two-point person in this round and not need to feed him. Yeah, I was considering that. So, yeah, that's just um, an option. I'm, yeah. I could also go here. This is essentially worth two points to me because I have this extra thing. I have lots of ways to make two points. Yeah. So, I didn't really get great choices. I was kind of hoping for uh, some like another yellow or another uh, – or sorry, another grain or another wood to kind of close off. But either way – I'm just either going to close off this section or this section. So I think I'm just I think I'm just going to do this just because it's I don't yeah, know. It's a point. It's a point. So um, that doesn't matter. And uh, all right. So what we're going to do here um, is we're going to go here. We're going to make four grain finally. Yeah. And the great thing about this is I'm so traumatized from the last uh, couple <laughs> of rounds. I mean, like uh, four grains that enough. But you know what? I actually only will need two of it. Yeah. So I can actually have a little bit spare. We're gonna come here. This is this sheep farm has been the our, our jam. We've yeah. I think we've hit this every round. Um so we're gonna make three here, which is great. I will need two of them to feed. Um you know, this is a little wrong. Like he 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 tends sheep, but he eats sheep. I, yeah, I was I gonna mean, say I he, don't I don't know. <laughs> just put three down and he's gonna eat two yeah, of those they, up. <laughs> I don't know what they're doing over here. So they, this person, I don't know. Anyways, okay. And then I'm going to put this here. I need wood. Yeah, you do. So again, you know, we're going to have one, two, three, four, but I have one. So I'm actually okay. Yeah. So I cover that. Now, the biggest thing that is a little difficult here by doing all of that is I'm actually short. Now, I will get to go first. Finally going to get to go first. Yes. And I think what's going to happen is I'm pretty sure I'm going to go sell here because I can. Um, I have one of everything required and extras of it. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of storage. The biggest downside is I need to pay this neighborly help, um, which actually, you know what? I think I'm going to be okay on because yeah, two grain. You don't I'm just need... going to come over here and hit the stone, I think. Oh, yeah. And that that alone... That plus the grain, the yeah, I think that, that works. should be plenty. Because honestly, these right now, these three stone, just gonna pay that off. Because yeah, then I will have a grain, a water, sheep, and uh, I like how I keep calling it a water. I'll have a water, <laughs> and I'll have plenty to kind of take care of the four and the thing. All right, so I think that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna just go ahead and take care of that. Get yep. rid of this neighborly help. Yep, yep, yep. John, did we notice, didn't take any neighborly help this yeah, whole but, but game. Yeah, but also had me thinking, like, maybe I was too focused on that. Like, if I had one, I clearly have the ability to pay it off. Right. So I might have been too scared to take, take that it. one. <laughs> well, I don't know. We we committed here. But, you know, we'll see. So far, I just want everyone to know that of the three, the two times I've already delivered, all I've drawn is zero. So Are you serious? Drawing four coins, <laughs> I think maybe I drew one one in the entire time. So I mean, um, I wouldn't say my draw was like light years better. Well, my draw was better than that. My draw was better than that. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see. All right. So are we going to move into the uh, fall now? Yeah. It's all time right. for our last fall. Let's do it. So I'm going to boop around here, get rid of one coin, which is a shocker. The downside being, of course, that the coin goes back in the bag. Um, if we find out later that you read the rules and the coins don't go back in the bag, it's going to be a terrible moment. I think it's interesting in a, in a two player game, you know, yeah, the yeah, they go back to the, yeah, game. in two player game, the coins kind of go back in. There's less, you know, more players, you know, more coins are going to come out. You're going to increase more your, draws. Yeah. More draws, increase your odds a little bit. All right. I'm, I'm really committing here. All right. Let's actually pay what we're doing here. So we are going to pay a grain, a sheep, a fish. We're going to draw four coins because of the Oh, my of the gosh, benefit. Anastasia. I just noticed something in the rule book. What did I do? No, no, it, it's fine. It's just coins, when paying costs, coins can always be used as wild goods. Are you serious? Regardless of their values. So that would have helped. If you're, all you're drawing is zeros, then those zeros could have been feeding your people. I'm so glad that you guys came to this uh, version <laughs> of Play With Friends. Anastasia will not be teaching. John and I are playing a lot of games today. You're not going to know that because they're going to be released in random He's order. Like, I'm going to learn some. You're going to learn some. Yeah. I won't be teaching any more of the games today <laughs> or ever again. So if you're experiencing this once in a lifetime experience, congratulations. You, This is a moment for you. Yeah. Turns out coins are wild. Yeah. 
FYI. FYI. Would have been great. But you know what? I used all my coins you did. in a way that needed to be used. You all did. Right. Honestly, I'm go. not sure if you had that many coins when you first like took the the, the locked in neighborly help. I don't well I did. But you know what? We committed. Yes. <laughs> all right. That was too many. Let's okay. You guys, should draw one at a time, right? Yeah, for drama. Well, I guess for me, I'll draw them one at a time because I have to like punt things out. For you, I guess you have room I for all I wish you these, were so. going first. So this, oh my god, this is ridiculous. <laughs> Are there any other coins in here besides zero? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't like randomness, don't play this game. <laughs> Punishing. My God. Are you serious? No, I got a point. Okay. <laughs> well, it's my turn. Um, oh. I, I did want to do this. Yeah, I'm so glad. Should have. Uh, so the reason I was looking in the rule book uh, is because I wanted to know if I had to spend a coin when I cross this or if I can choose to take friendly neighbor help. Mm. You can choose. Really? You okay. can. Great. Uh, so I'm so glad that you want to choose. <laughs> well, I just have all this stuff I don't need. <laughs> so I'm going to choose the neighborly help instead of giving up these coins oh. for no reason. No reason. Uh, then I'll immediately pay that neighborly help by throwing a pile of fish at them. And then I will keep on going. I feel punished by the coin bag. Over here. It's like it knew I went into debt, and <laughs> it just wouldn't. Like... It was judging you. Oh, my uh, gosh. And I'm going to do some pulls as well. I um, think that the neighbors went and talked to the bank. <laughs> <laughs> did you draw? Did you sell any sheep? I did. I drew four coins. You did draw four. Okay. Yeah. Um, well, I'm going to draw four coins. I'm so happy for you. Uh, so it'll be uh, – we'll start with this grain. So <laughs> if you draw four twos, I mean, I, I'm leaving. That you <laughs> so this is the first thing that I drew. Oh, I don't even want to know. You know what, Nick? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so mad at John. I just called him Nick. <laughs> I'll just tell you something about our dynamic. All right. So I can spend another stone to draw another <laughs> tile. <sighs> oh, man. That's 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 that. Um, I'm just going to get rid of that. Uh -huh. To hold on to it. Oh, just, just gonna look at okay. these things. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. So, good. Um, so I've done two. Now I'm gonna sell this sheep for two coins. Oh, great! <laughs> so happy. Uh, and uh, okay, I will get rid of this coin that I drew earlier. Uh huh. For this one. Oh wow! So good for you. And, okay. Um, now it's winter. Okay, let's bring everybody home. I'll go first since I'm all ready. So two sheep, four, four wood, two grain. And that's, that's everybody for winter. All right. And I spend one f uh, wood and one fish and two grain. All right, John. And that's the game. All right, so let's Final do our scoring. points. Okay. Yes. So I don't think there's any way to track yeah, points. Yeah, there's no score pad or anything. Interesting. Old game. John's gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna. He'll do like some kind of fun doohickey on the screen, yeah, right? Yeah, I'll do yeah, that. Just yeah. like a little movie magic. Like, a, like ooh, okay. So um, one victory point for each completely surrounded area by fence. So I have one, two, three, four, five. I have five. I have one, two, three. Okay. All right. So three I have points. five. You have three. Yep. Two victory points for each farmer and laborer. So I have four. So five plus four times two is eight. So I'm at 13 right now. I have three. So that's six plus three. I'm at nine. Okay. 13 to nine. All right. One victory point for each hut and barn, including those that you started with. So I have one, two, three. Right? We're counting. Yeah. We decide this is a barn, right? No, that's the house. That's the house. Okay. Yeah. So I just have two. Okay. Yep. So you have 15. 15. I have two. Uh, three. Three. So I was at nine. That puts me at 12. Okay. So 15, 12. All right. Two victory points. Oh, huh. reveal your coins. It's not that bad. But is I, it that bad? I, I do have six points in coins. I think it's zero, <laughs> zero, zero, one, one. One. I mean, I think it is that bad. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty so, bad. My, my, yeah, my the amount of times I drew zeros. Can you? I can go back and find out how many times a I lot. drew zeros. In my this first, game. my first market action, I drew three. I got a zero, a one, and a two. <sighs> um, and then, and, and and here we are. So I was at twelve. I had six of that. I'm at eighteen. 
All right, I was at 15, I had two, I'm at 17. Uh-huh. So that's that that would be great if it weren't for what's about to happen to yes. us. Yes. All right, victory points for improvement tiles. Yeah. So I have this is one point for every for for these three. So that's three. I was at 18, so that is 21. This is two points for each of these, so that's four more points. I'm at 25. 25. All right. So I'm at 17. And this is just one point for each of these, which is four. So that's 21. Yep. And then minus two. <laughs> <laughs> minus four. Yeah, minus two twice. Yes. <laughs> then minus two twice. That's so the final score? The final score is 21 minus four. So that is what? Uh, 17. 17 to again. To 25. To 25. 17 to 25. GG. GG. With some asterisks. With some asterisks. Yes. Some asterisks. John's right. I might have been able to avoid taking some of this neighborly help. Maybe one of those. Yeah. I with, think you might have only had your first two zeros at that point. Yeah. If I if I had known that I could swap out my coin as a wild. So that that really would have helped and made the game a little bit less tight. I think that probably would have been a good good thing to have uh, played correctly. Yeah. Um, the other thing is you can just see. I mean, this is probably people's biggest complaint about the game is the coins. Speaking right? of C, let's just dump. Yeah. I actually don't know the, the uh, distribution. So, holy cow, there's a lot of twos. Yeah, there are a lot of twos. So I only pulled two of them. I drew a ridiculous wow, amount there's a of lot zeros. of twos considering. Yeah. So, a I, lot of ones, too. Yeah, you just got really unlucky. I, I mean, there's a, a decent amount of zeros, but out still. Of all of the times I pulled, which again was not crazy, but at least four, two, three, like seven or eight times, even more possibly, more like it. I, I. I pulled zeros like every single time. I only pulled these two ones, right? That's kind of crazy. So I think I think that's kind of crazy when you think about how much and and think about what a swing that is. Given how many resources I had, if these are all twos, given the space I had, I mean, that gives me the game, right? Like, I mean, if they were all twos, which would be unlikely, but if they were, but that over, would be two, four, six. That'd be seven, eight. That'd be eight more points. You had seventeen plus eight, twenty-five. We would have tied. Yeah. Fine. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. But, uh, well, you know, it would have helped, you know, and then... I, I didn't mean that as like, oh, no, you're wrong. Like, you're right. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, Absolutely. There's a lot of twos. Would have made a big difference. And I think that, you know, um, that that is what I think people's one complaint about this game is that these are random, right? There's yes. very little you can do to adjust this randomness. You go to the market, you think you're drawing five tiles. Isn't that amazing? And this is what again, you get. Using them as wilds it would... would cut the edge off of that yeah. earlier in the game and i did use them to kind of get around yeah. and all of that but, but your last action was like this big woo and then you like draw a bunch of t and you got two points yeah and like i was like there's so many ways i could get two points and then i went here and i got i guess three yeah I, so i only got one more point than you in that last turn but it was but the scores are 25 to 17 like every point is is precious yeah absolutely so yeah, and, um, and so uh, you've played Eclipse once. Uh, I just I just think it's kind of interesting that this came out the same year as Eclipse. And this coin bag thing is almost identical to the combat bag in oh, Eclipse. Oh, interesting. Yeah, yeah, in Eclipse, yeah. when you win combat, depending on how the combat went, you draw a certain number of tiles randomly out of a bag, and you keep I think the, one of them. And and so the earlier you do it, the more likely you are to find the really big stuff. And later you do it, it's more likely to be diluted, which is similar here. Yeah, you, you because can, you can see that design throughput for the uh, for the the designer. When you start the game, interestingly, you start with everyone has uh, two, two zeros. Two zeros. So, so that you, first poll is like the best one of the best game. best one of the game, right? That's the best. And if you're playing with four players, you, the bag looks like this when you start. Oh wow, right? that is like, nuts. So, so maybe part of this bad luck feel is is a two player experience because when we played last time, I think it was four. It was. Yeah, it was, and I have played it at two. And honestly, I think it works well at two. I mean, be you know, everyone be a judge for yourself. I mean, we, I had a great time. Yeah. So, I think it works well at two. It's obviously a little faster, but, but actually, it really isn't. That's what's so interesting about this game is that the timing. So wise, much of it simultaneous. It's so much of it simultaneous. In fact, it's a little bit slower playing it. You know, you know, recording it in this way because we, you know, had to kind of, you know, we we were we took turns. Of, we took uh, turns doing things that normally we wouldn't. Yeah. That you could just kind of fly. You probably through. lop like. 20 to 30 minutes off the the, the runtime of this video yeah. uh, for the simultaneousness and uh, alone. Yeah. So it there's a there's a really interesting dynamic I think to play there. But what I what I just love about this game is like these choices, right? Are you going to expand this way? How is that going to work for you? Are you going to make more storage? What are you going to do? And you don't have a lot of actions. I mean, in a lot of euros these days, right? We talk about that like you only take eight actions. You hear you have mm -hmm. a whole worker placement board. Yeah. And you're only going to take eight actions in the game like yeah. how how fascinating. I mean, this know? is almost like an early 
an early Franken Euro. Like, yeah. like, like if this came out right now, I yeah. feel like it would obviously graphically probably look different. <laughs> but uh, I mean, I like the way this looks. I just think that modern yeah. Euros don't necessarily look like this. Um, but this feels like it, it would make sense. Yeah. Because so many modern Euros these days have every single thing uh, thrown into the pot. Yeah. And this is kind of like back when that wasn't a thing. So like this is unusual for the fact that you have like a Carcassonne plus a, a you know, Matt Gertz Rondell type of worker placementy thing. And you've got an Agricola, feed your people, like starving kind of thing. All crammed together in one package that plays actually very fast because of how much of it's simultaneous. It's like it's like mini games. Like, yeah. like th- these years are just like everybody play Carcassonne, then everybody you know, th- then everybody play Agricola, then everybody. Well, I haven't played Agricola, but you get my point. It's just it's interesting. Yeah. Um, and, yeah. And, and and I'm really glad to have played it again. Yeah, absolutely. We should play it uh, correctly. <laughs> again, again. <laughs> I didn't mean that as a dig. <laughs> no, it's fabulous. Yeah, this is awesome. This yeah. is great. Thanks for bringing it over. Totally. As always, I'd like to thank everyone who's been supporting this channel, including these producer-level Patreon supporters. If you, too, would like to directly support the channel in the creation of future videos like this one, then please go to jongetsgames.com support. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please click the like button for it down below, as well as the subscribe button for the channel. Thanks for watching.